So if we're looking at exponential growth, have you been doing problems with exponential growth or decay? Yeah, the M&Ms. All week we've been working on these. So this is not a surprising formula to you. This formula looks just like my equation for M&Ms. The only difference is that this is my starting amount, my ending amount, which we've seen before. This is the initial start amount. This is the end amount. And then K is what we're finding. We're trying to figure out what K means in the lab, and you're, you're getting closer to that. And then we're going to lastly look at this T. This is the time for the growth or decay to happen. Every one of them is like this. They all do uh, start with a certain amount, end with a certain amount, and have some kind of a K times T. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some real situations and you're going to see if you can uh, figure out totals after you look at these exponential growth. Now, one of the things that's weird about K is what you're going to discover in the lab, and I'm not going to say what that is. But it's going to start to become evident when you do these problems. I went online and I found these really disturbing pictures of men who wear rabbit masks and walk down the street together. And uh, we'll call them mega bunnies. And uh, I don't know why they do it. I'm not even going to ask. But there's a whole bunch of them. And let's say there was a group of them that started at year zero, and there were 14 of them. And then three years later, there were 44. You tell me how many there will be in eight years. Okay? Doesn't that sound hard? Those have always been kind of, no, it's not too bad. It's not too bad because we're going to break this into two parts. We're going to do the step one is we're going to find K. you got to find that K value. If you find the K, then you'll use that in every other situation. Okay, I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. The K is a rate constant that works for any time period on an exponential growth. That's weird. Whether the time period is 1, 2, 10, 50, shoved between any two, that K is always the same. It's one of the most unique functions there is because only a straight line does it not matter what your interval is. You get the same slope. If you have any K value on an exponential growth, it'll give you the same curvature. That's cool. All right, so now we're going to find K. So you're going to start with 14 bunnies, and we're going to end with 44. So again, start with, end with. Now this is going to be any base we want. Let's use E to be consistent. We want to find K. How long did it take to go from 14 to 44? Three years. There you go. So now all we have to do is solve for this guy. E to the 3K. So what are you going to do to both sides before we do any other stuff? Divide by 14. So you have 44 divided by 14 is equal to E to the 3K. You are skilled in this now. What's my next step? <laughs> yeah. Log base E of 44 over 14 is equal to 3K. Can I change this log base E into the natural log? And uh, I don't know what 44, 22 sevenths? Okay, and then I'm going to divide it by 3. That's K. Would somebody give me the decimal, four decimals for K? Seems a little high, at least from what they had last hour. How about 0.3 what? A little louder? One and one more. Seven. Thank you. All right, so 0 0.31, 3817. Now, what do you notice about that? Is it positive or negative? Positive. What does that mean that the, the bunny memberships are? Going up. What did your M&M lab do? 
go down. So did it make sense that you had negative? That's a good thing to put in your math reflection. Yeah, OK. So now we know what k is. Now we're ready to solve for how many bunnies, OK? So for the step two, we're going to find uh, essentially n, n of 8, or how many there's going to be in 8 years. So we started with 14 bunnies. We, our k value is 0 0.3817. We went for 8 years. And we should be able to find out about how many bunnies that is. How many is that? It's in the 60s, I think. Anybody get it? 60 what? Be brave. The year I was born. Nope, all you do is 14e to the this times that. What did you get, Eddie? Oh, 297. Did anybody else get 297? Oh, they had uh, last hour they got it wrong. Uh, two, anybody, we have two people that got 297? Okay, three. Yeah, so you did you do e to the 8 times 0 0.3817, and then did you multiply by 14, or did you do 14 times this and then times 8? Okay, good. So you're good. So you said 297. So how do you know if that makes sense for an answer? Well, the way you do that is you say, okay, in three years, in three years, let's see, doubled, triple. It pretty much tripled in three years. Okay? In six years, it's going to triple again. So what's 44 times 3? 132 and it's yeah and it's more than tripling because it's eight eight it's more than three years it's almost another tripling so this makes way more sense than that other answer I like it all right so what you're going to do are these two-step problems find your K then find your answer almost all of them are going to be this way uh, the radioactive decay you're familiar with because you did the M&M &M lab. Here's your start amount. Here's your end amount. Here's your K. And this is the T. But what's the only difference between this and the previous one? What's going to be true of your K? It's going to be negative. So easy, right? Go down to the homework. Homework is going to look like this for day one. You're going to do number 14, which has subparts, three subparts, not bad. Uh, 18, which has three subparts. And 21, 23, and then 36. We are going to right now go back to number uh, 20. Where's the one with the uh, oh, E. coli? I don't like E. coli, but uh, I like this problem. I'm going to see how far you can get in finding the growth constant K, get a function, and find out how long to make 9,000 bacteria. 